are talking about Coda's adoption story. Coda James. Coda James. <laughs> the first step is. <laughs> so the first step is becoming foster parents. So um, we figured we'll go through the foster system, and if it happens that whatever child that comes to our home um, needs to <laughs> get the hiccups. <laughs> uh, is up for adoption then we would go that route but in the meantime if it doesn't and it goes the other way then that was fine too as long as we provided a like a <laughs> <laughs> provided a loving home for a child in the meantime so we use an agency to go through um, for the foster care so we got our foster license in august of 2014 and after that, as soon as we got it, we started getting calls right away. And um, we got a few calls seeing if um, we could take uh, a child at the time. And before Coda game, we got a phone call and they said, we have a baby, If uh, can we bring over a baby? And we said, of course. You know, we were looking more for, like, as long as the child is younger than Jonathan, who was, two and a, uh, who was three and a half at the time, then we were fine. We were looking more for um, like a baby infant. Uh, yes. So that and so that's what we had prepared for because you have to have a like a crib set up um, and have everything ready just in case you get the call. So we did get a call for an infant. Oh, for an infant. And then when the infant was going to come, they said, "Oh, never mind." Um, a family member had stepped forward for the baby, which you know was that's great. And um, so we were like, oh, okay, that's, that's good news. And um, then probably an hour later, we get another call, and they said, oh, we have a little boy who needs to be placed, and he, but he's not an infant, he's two and a half. If, is that okay? And we're always like, whoever is supposed to come, whoever we get the call for, we were always gonna say yes. So we said yes. And, but the thing is, when they're over the age of two, they need a toddler bed. We didn't have one, so <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna come in a few hours, so I ran to the store and got a toddler bed. It was a Cars toddler bed. Lightning and McQueen. A Lightning McQueen toddler bed. Do you remember that bed? Yeah. Yeah. We went and Caesar started putting it together. And in the meantime, as we waited and Caesar was putting the bed together, I ordered pizza because they, you know, I wanted to get food that was familiar to all kids and pizza is the best choice. And so we ordered pizza um, for his arrival. And when he came, Caesar was still in the process of putting the bed together. And here comes this little <laughs> two and a half year old cutie coming in through the door. You know, hmm. picking up the tools and, he went and started to go to work and <laughs> help me put his bed together. It was the cutest. Yes. He picked it up and he held the frame <laughs> together while Caesar was like putting it, like putting the screws in and like he put his bed together. It was so adorable. Like, and he came and he was. And we didn't say it was for him or anything. He just immediately um, started to, to help me put, yeah. the, put the bed together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Didn't know if it was his or not. You know, he just started to work. Yes, <laughs> and that's what I always I always like to call him our little man because he came in and he was like a little man. I can do it. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he came in. He was very independent. Uh, wanted to help, and um, if, uh, he was helping putting his bed together and not even knowing it was his bed, but he just wanted to help do something, and it was the cutest thing. And then uh, when the pizza arrived, I, you know, him only being two and a half, I cut up the pizza in little pieces <laughs> because I, I wasn't sure how he was going to eat it, so I cut it up. And it always makes me laugh when I think of it because he looked at his plate with his cut up pizza and was like, <laughs> what is this? He probably didn't even recognize it was pizza. <laughs> and he looked at um, Jonathan and Gabby's plate and was like, oh, what is that? No. And then he went and took their pizzas off their plate and didn't even <laughs> attempt to touch the cut up pizza that I, <laughs> that I cut up. That was funny. They're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want cutest. pizza bites. I yeah. want a whole slice. 
and that's him. He just has grown like he he knew already, and it was the cutest <laughs> thing, and it made me laugh. It was the funniest. And you know, we put ourselves in his shoes. I mean, I can't imagine two and a half. He had been moved several times already, and to come into you know our home, I can't even imagine at two and a half how he must have felt. So. He was awesome coming in. Full of energy. Full of energy. Full of energy. <laughs> Running back and forth everywhere, exploring, checking out all the rooms. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> outside. Yes, he, he, Immediately. he was excited. He was excited. Yep. It was new to him. Mm -hmm. um, Immediately bonded with Gabby. Remember? Yes. Followed her everywhere. Wherever Gabby was going, he was right there. He really instantly attached to Gabby. <laughs> and... The important thing, like with foster care, that they had told us to is, you know, get them on a routine as quickly as possible, especially so that they can get used to knowing what's going to happen, not only in routine, but also with their food schedule. So we made sure that he knew at certain times of the day that that was, there was always a meal coming. Like it was breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. And he knew so that he can get used to knowing that there will always be food. Because in the beginning, he was eating like he had a bottomless pit stomach, remember? Yes. Constantly eating. And taking the other kids' food as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not knowing if he was going to have enough or, yeah. uh, you know, for the next next time he wanted to eat or was hungry. Yeah, and it took him um, um, a few months, and then he finally, <laughs> I, I remember it. Like, I remember him <laughs> saying, I'm full, and it yes. was like a... The first time he said he was full, we were so impressed. Like we're like, oh my god! Yes, Finally, it was like he knows. Okay, now there's a lot of food here. <laughs> there's <laughs> always going to be food here. Yes. Yeah, and um, so that was really nice. And in the meantime, we just bonded with him and with Jonathan and with Gabby. <laughs> If his case, his case was nearing um, adoption, and if his case does head toward that, would we be interested in adopting him? It had already been about three weeks. Yes. Um, and we were just so in love with him. Excited. <laughs> we said, of course, absolutely. And that's when they said, oh, he has a baby sister. So <laughs> we want to keep them together, and would you be interested Um and taking and her taking in her. as well. Yes, of course. We were like, absolutely. Yes. And um, Best choice we made. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Glad it we was, did that. It was beautiful to see them together. And Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At two and a half, he wasn't talking yet, and so he was nonverbal. We just worked with him, and yes. he did speech therapy for a little bit, but he just blossomed really fast. He caught on to learning quickly, started speaking quickly, you know, reading to him a lot, just talking to him a lot, making sure that he tries to say the words instead of just pointing because a lot of times he would just point at what he wanted or grunt and then we would say what the word was and then we would have him try to try it as well and he would soon enough like he um, wanted to learn yeah yes, he like wanted he to talk caught on quickly oh and about coda he's super shy he's our shy <laughs> kid he is super shy until he gets comfortable with you then when he's comfortable with you, then 
<laughs> he won't stop. He won't stop talking and I want to play. You want to play? 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes, but that is him. He is also a natural born protector. He is do not let size fool you because he does not see size. If yeah. he feels that that anyone is you know, messing with any of us or teasing us or anything, he is the first one to defend any of his siblings. He loves to sit, but especially if it's an environment he's not he's not used to or is new to. He sits and he watches. And if yes. uh, he becomes aware of his environment first. Yes, he's and, pretty fearless too. Yes. Which which is why he just he doesn't really think about it, he just goes. <laughs> it's funny when he played football uh, when he was on defense at the beginning of the season, he was making all the tackles. Yeah. All the tackles on kids that were twice his size. Mm -hmm. And he loves <laughs> anything that deals with the game. So whether it's yes, a sport, sports. Any, he would walk around with any kind of baseball, basketball, football, anything. Soccer ball. Soccer ball. And he yes. would, at the beginning, he didn't know how to play catch, really. And he would throw it and go run after it. And we would be like, no, stay, like, throw it to me. You remember that? Yeah. You know, did you know that? You would throw it and then go get it and then throw it and then go get it. It was so cute. <laughs> and um, so we taught him how, like, you stay over there. Like, I'll throw it back to you, I promise, you know. And then he got the hang of that. Um, he did hide toys. He, he was very, um, yes. like, anything he got, he would hide. Until uh, he finally realized, like, no, okay, these are mine. They're these not going mine. anywhere. Not Nobody's going. taking them. Yes. <laughs> so he did get used to that. <laughs> and he, um, oh, besides um, just any kind of sport, he loves, he's our gamer. So he loves video games, but also board games. So he's just competitive. He just likes any kind of game. What's your favorite game on, what board game is your favorite right now? Sorry. Sorry. He loves Sorry. Loves playing Monopoly, even though it takes forever, <laughs> right? You like yeah. Monopoly. He loves Connect Four, um, but Sorry is like his favorite. And um, then he loves playing, obviously, you know, video games with his cousins. And what's your favorite video game? Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Oh, him and his brother—they can—they built these elaborate Minecraft worlds. And <laughs> even with Coda and learning. Um, he is one of the top readers of his class. He yes. reads amazingly. Comprehension, really good comprehension right? of um, what he reads. Mm -hmm. Some pretty good books. And the words will be pretty long and he can yes. break it down and he can read them. So, What's one of your favorite books? Mm, the one that I'm reading right now. <laughs> Which one is that? Um, Bloom. Bloom book. Oh, um. Uh, uh, what's his name? I thought it was a sheep. Fudge? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, right now he's reading um, the Judy Bloom books. Fudge. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I used to love her books. I still do. So, he's reading Fudge, but he he's a great reader. Great, yes. great, great reader. Amazing reader. And he started that. Uh, Went like at age four, four. started real reading really well, really, really well. well, caught on real quick. Yes. So, yeah. So for his case, it went for a while, and um, it took two and a half years to finally finalize um, his adoption. So in the meantime, we had fostered him for two and a half years, and then we were able to um, adopt him. And his sister. And his sister at the same yes. time. So it was, it was beautiful. It was, it was great. Um, so how do you feel about being adopted? Like what are you? Good. Yeah. Do you, yeah. do you remember your adoption day? No. You don't? Like when we went <laughs> to the court and stuff? No. You don't All of us dressed the same. Yeah. No. No? You were what? He, had, he was about four and a half. But, yeah. yeah. Aww. Yeah, so, it was a very special day. Yes. And he's an amazing kid. Resilient. Um, strong. Strong. Very strong. Yes. And he... <laughs> um, 
quick learner, protector, and um, he's funny. I know he's shy, but when he gets <laughs> going, he's funny. <laughs> um, he's a good brother and a good son. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Any anything you want to say? No. See, he's shy. No, what do you mean no? <laughs> what do you mean no? <laughs>